in the last few work. moments, we've got some breaking news for you, boys. Uh, Worcester Warriors have been banned from all competitions uh, from five o'clock today. Um, what, do, what, do we, what do we think of that, Jake? Uh, we, we've got them on Saturday, so that, that throws this banner in the works. I think, um, you know, it was based on their kind of social media campaign and what they were doing. I think it was expected, I suppose, um, just because they were saying their goodbyes that all we could do. Um, but it is, you know, it's crazy that, you know, we're, we're at this part, it's almost like, you know, like London Welsh or, or whatever, going, you know, throwing mm. back. But, um, it is mental in this modern era, but I suppose it's the kind of knock-on effect of COVID. But, um, yeah, I just feel so sorry for, you know, people in that situation um, and the staff and the players. I know the players got paid last month, but it still doesn't help them this month or, or going forward. So it is a, uh, a kind of shit situation. Um, and given the kind of what, what, what's gone on with the salary cap, it's just brutal for boys. You know, it's what they got 40, 50 players now out of contract or whatever. And it's just a, a shit market out there. So it, it just, if, if there wasn't, there was a problem before the season started with just people just generally, now there's going to be even more of an issue. So it's, it's just, it's just shit. Like, there's, there's no other way to put it really. Yeah. Cause there was that thing with a hundred premiership players getting their contracts cut right at the beginning of the season, wasn't, wasn't there? So yeah. Yeah. now with these guys and then all the chat with wasps going on as well, yeah, and what do you well. do if you've got a family and stuff like that? You know, it's yeah, it's sketchy. Oh, brutal, isn't it? Fuck. Horrible. It's mental because like, you, you think like footballers or whatever, they they've got you know millions of pounds saved up. If they went like a year without it, they don't it doesn't affect them. But boys like like you know, like ourselves, don't have that sort of <laughs> cash lying around unless you have a <laughs> cash pot. So it's unless you're Ron Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That way. Always on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, like really, no, no. the really? white battlers, the white battlers of the squad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're being paycheck to paycheck, gentlemen. That's, yeah, that's uh, brutal, isn't it? Brutal. Yeah, I tell you, some people horrible. I think will benefit out of it. The likes of your Duhan van der Merwe's and that, you see him getting a big old contract down in France somewhere, won't you? It's mental. It's absolutely mental. They yeah, play the game. When did they they played on the weekend. They beat Newcastle, and then suddenly they go in Monday, nothing. Yeah, and, they, and they've been playing really well as well. I, I know that all the shit that's going on in the background, but, you know, obviously they've had to put their hands up and maybe some of the players might have seen this coming, so they might have been trying a bit harder. But they the last couple of games, they've, they, you know, like regardless of the, the scorelines or whatever, they smashed Newcastle. I think they just lost to Exeter, if I'm right in saying. So, yeah. they, you know, they, they, they were really putting hands up and it's just shit that there's nothing they can do. It's like out of their control, right? So it's... No matter, as a rugby player, you play well, you, you tend to get good things when your squad plays well. But the fact they've been doing that and it's been taken out of their hands and they're still in a shit situation regardless is, is you know, just kind of sums it up, really. I heard all the academy boys, am I right, had to move out of their homes and uh, move yeah, out of their boys, academy houses, yeah. move in with the older guys. Mm. I mean, I, I'd stick a few of them in my house, but the caretaker that lives on the ground in the house that's owned by six ways or whatever it is, he's had to move out of his house, the poor bloke. So, I mean, what happens to him? Yeah, mad, isn't it? Um, let's um, let's let's just finish around just on that point. Wasps kind of in a similar situation, uh, asking to go into administration now. So potentially we we've got again a whole bunch of other players who might be um, out on the market uh, very soon. Um, do, does is there a feeling though within kind of the rugby circles that wasps are in a slightly different situation, like it's going to be fine for them or? Or, or well, potentially could be just as bad. I think there was murmurings about them for a while, though. Maybe two, two, been about two or three years now. I've heard that the, they're battling that because that Rico deal was a bit strange, wasn't it? Going off to Coventry to fill an absolute mausoleum of a stadium with about fifteen people and their dogs, like it didn't make much financial sense to me. Yeah. And you escape like all your history, which is in London. Then you go off to Coventry. It's a bit strange, uh, but uh, well, I, I'm bigger and better men behind the money have made that decision, so it hasn't worked out for them. But, but what, so, what is the crack with? Are they in a similar sort of? I don't really know the. I don't know the ins and outs of it. Yeah, is it they are definitely me? fucked H with the bond. Yeah, HMRC, but they are also fucked because they issued bond bonds to pay for effectively that move a while back, and they can't afford to repay the money that they owe effectively. So. A load of people have spent money on buying these these wasp bonds, and the minute they matured, they're like, can't afford it, so they owe cash. Yeah, fuck. It, it, I, I suppose it just can't be his back. So I don't know as much 
as much about it. Right? If you, I think if it was blowing up, you'd you'd hear about it. That's the only thing I can think. It can't be obviously it's not too bad. Yeah. But the fact that you know you'd hear about it everywhere if they were um, up shit street, I suppose. But I imagine by the sound of it, they're they're not in a great place. But um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, <laughs> they were planning on the move to be really good, and if they can't afford uh, the bonds they took out, I suppose. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there, really, because I, yeah, like as you said, but everything in the press is about Worcester, isn't it? So we just know, um, you know, because if we if we didn't hear about it as much in the press, we wouldn't even we wouldn't even know it was as bad as it was. Really, it would filter out. But yeah, I suppose. You know, I like to think hypothetically sometimes, right? And we've already worked out. Jake could go and work at Subway for his mom and dad. <laughs> Maxi, what are you doing? Right, like, you shouldn't joke about it because it's blokes. Is... But tomorrow, you're done. You're done. Rugby's. You're right, kids. Um, tomorrow, rugby's done. What are you doing, Max? What are you doing? I probably set up sort of like some kind of. I just start selling um uh, S and C programs. I think online. You start doing what? S and C like strength and conditioning programs online. Oh hello, okay. Yeah, well, that's I what you do. You basically with... become a pit. PC. So I take I take all my money right that I've that I've saved my little my little egg and then yeah. I go off to, I disappear off to Bali with all that with and so I could live out sort of fairly frugally and live like a king on little I like and it then, I like it <laughs> and I'd set up some kind of um, e business and use my platform to sort of leverage some kind of sales that way and then go harder on that seeing as I'd have more free time as That's it's over. Fun. I think you should probably just quit. That sounds fucking just amazing. Just do that. <laughs> Look ripped like Leif. Yeah. That would be, that he's, would got be it, he's got nice it sorted. Yeah, yeah, the hench program. Oh, sorry. Yeah. When you start. <laughs> yeah, the athletic weapon. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, Jake, I wanted to ask you something, just coming back to your injury. How did your, um, how does your foot feel now? Like on the field, like how did it feel? Does it still, is there still, obviously there's some inhibition. He's there, not so. going to say shit, is he? Because then, gosh, you're going to be like, fuck, go on. Mate. Can't fucking move it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, <he's>... Fucked. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, no, I just, with nerves, I've, I've, I've had some experience because I had like um, a compressed nerve in my survival spine and then my, um, my bicep sort of started to atrophy and my pec atrophied and like this whole half of my body is still a little bit atrophy, but the body has like these fascinating ways to sort of use the other muscles and recondition effectively for it. But just as you, as you say, it takes a lot of time for the nerve to heal because the nerves don't have any blood supply essentially. Isn't that, I think that's, that's what they, they yeah. tell you. Yeah. yeah. Like a hamstring injury or whatever, cause it's got mm-hmm. such a blood, blood supply. It can, it can heal very quickly in comparison. Uh, but in terms of how it, it feels, it feels like it is back to normal. So like the strength, so eventually, so not eventually, it, it basically goes, you get the aversion, which is the outward movement first. Um, that came first, which is another muscle. Um, so I, I'm not quite sure how it was, but the Tiban, I, I think, is split into two. So it's like the aversion comes first, which came, you know, that was the October. Um, and that was, I couldn't, so I could move my foot in and down absolutely fine uh there was no there was no lack of strength there which is why i could run because i, I could push off your calf was good yes your tibialis was your tibialis was battling yes so then that that's the one that atrophy if that yeah that's the word i guess i'm looking for you're you're more qualified now that's that i just used your word there so that was that was the, uh, <laughs> that was the muscle that disintegrated um basically and then after a year and you just basically complex it um as soon as we got the right. Uh, as soon as we got the movements, we knew it was active. It was literally just smash the shit out of it. And the aversion comes first, the the, the lift comes second, and your toes come last. So uh, my big toe, uh, I would say it's not back to normal, but the rest of it is. And we're well over kind of 90 degrees in terms of the movement. It's just building, you know, it's built like you, like you said, when you take that muscle away for two years yeah. and then reactivate it, regardless how, you know, how, how often you do it. Um, but it's so difficult to do because where it's so weak, like I can't, I can't like um, you, when you're training it, you can't just stick like a weight on it and just do it because you know you, you, your foot can't cope with that. So it's about doing it with bands and all that kind of tedious stuff that goes with it. Um, but it literally is trying to yeah, just build it back up to where to where it was. Um, and yeah, you just got to keep smashing it really. And and like it is now, it's it's back. To, I like everyday life for me. I haven't got drop foot anymore, um, but there's still obviously room for improvement in terms of the strength. You know, but the main thing that came out of it for me was the Tiban, which is what Andy Williams said, which is the knee surgeon who I know, I suppose everyone yeah, knows. Yeah. 
he's, he's top notch, but uh, the Tiban has no stabilizing factor on your knee. It's calf, hamstring and quad that's on your knee. So the, the kind of, the fact that it's potentially not up to full strength isn't isn't a problem with the with the knee, and the fact that I can get over well over ninety degrees isn't a problem for, for running. Um, so you know it's it's back to it's like basically having your ankle strapped up quite heavily. Yeah, go, yeah. 